Hey guys. Hmm? Hands up if anyone knows how to work YouTube properly without any assistance. Huh. So none of us know? Huh. I never really thought. Me either. Signorno, do you know how it works? Well, no, not really, but I do know the origin of how this entire world we live in exists. What, Rob the show? No. Before we existed. Before the annoying orange existed. Before piano playing cut existed. Before the ice bucket challenge, the 100 degree knife challenge, and vice versa. I am talking about the very first thing ever published on this site. Before even anyone even realized what it was. I am talking about the first ever video on YouTube. And here it is. What's this? Me at the zoo! Me at the zoo. Um. Are you sure this is right? Yeah. It is. Hmm. Anything interesting happen? Nope, he just talks about elephants and that's it. You're telling me that the very first video of YouTube was a guy and his friend at the zoo talking about elephants' trunks. Actually, that's right. <sighs> Signorno, just tell us the reason why this video exists. It was the very first video, and the two people who are in the video are actually the founding fathers of YouTube. The boy who is make the boy who is talking about elephants and the camera guy. They're the founding fathers of YouTube. Um Signorno? Yes? That doesn't answer our question. Why does no one understand YouTube? You told us the history of how this entire thing began, but that doesn't really answer our question of how, to now, no one knows how YouTube works. Well, I guess we'll just have to face facts. YouTube is a mystery that- WAIT! WAIT! I know the answer! Really? What is it? It's because of YouTube advertising. Ever since YouTube's been putting commercials on their YouTube sections, advertisers kind of got a little stale when they realised that most of all their great commercials were on subjects that were a bit dodgy and not very really appropriate. So they decided to hassle YouTube into making YouTube more related for kids than for adults and kids. And that's what YouTube did! So you're telling me the reason why YouTube is very confusing is because that advertising got in the way of having fun on YouTube? Yeah, pretty much. And now, the reason why there are so many celebrities is because YouTube is now following to everything that's related to celebrityness. It's the reason why you never go on to trending anymore on YouTube. Well, not everything's bad on trending. They mostly just put American talk shows and other stuff that could give YouTube more money if they just advertise it. When was the last time you saw something that didn't involve a talk show or something celebrity that actually could be famous more on TV than YouTube? Nah, good point. So kids, technically in a way, it's advertisers fault. So the next time you got a YouTube page and you want to get some extra pocket money, don't sell your soul to advertising. You have no gone control of what they're going to tell you to do. Plus, if you say something rude in your teenage years, your money's going down the drain. Bye bye Well, folks, looks like Deadpool just taught us a valuable lesson. YouTube is really weird. And I don't think it's going to go back to being what it used to be before we existed. Oh, well. 
And in my honest opinion, we don't really do any of the things that advertiser friendliness would ban us. Plus, we don't really have any commercials. Unless you count commercials for a YouTube page. So kids, see you soon!